What's going on guys? Welcome back to Plug and Play. Today we're doing another instructional informational video about a concept. We did one about true wireless earbuds and how they work and a little bit about the technology. Today we're going to be focusing on Qi wireless charging. But before we jump into that, I want to say if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to Plug and Play. If you like this video and you learned something, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. But without further ado, let's jump in and learn some things. So the first thing we want to ask is what is Qi wireless charging? And when I say Qi, what do I mean by Qi? Most people just call it wireless charging. You're starting to see this more often in phones, Samsung devices, iPhone devices, LG, all these phone manufacturers are starting to jump on board with this new wireless charging technology called Qi. It is actually spelt QI and a lot of people call it QI charging or key, or key charging. It's actually pronounced Qi, um, C-H-I or C-H-E-E, -E, however you want to say it, but that's how it's pronounced. What Qi wireless charging is, is basically the ability for you to buy a wireless charging base, a little, a little uh, pad of some kind, um, and you basically just put the Qi enabled device like your cell phone on top of there and it charges it without you having to plug it in or unplug it, um, really making a convenient solution to charge your phone quickly and effectively without having to have a cable or anything like that. So why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because I'm starting to see, especially in wireless earbuds, true wireless earbuds, wireless headphones, Qi charging is becoming a very common popular thing in that technology as well. We're seeing it in power banks and Bluetooth speakers as well. And I do those types of reviews all the time. So I figured why not create a video that would help explain what it is to people who may not know that may be watching my videos. So this is what it's all about. So Qi wireless charging is, is not a, a super new technology. It's been out for a couple years now. It's becoming more common and more mainstream. Um, but basically the way that it works is it uses magnetic induction. Now, I know that's gonna sound confusing, but it's really not that confusing. And I'm not gonna go into the, the physics of it all. I just wanna kind of give you an idea of how it works. So the easy basic way of explaining it is that there are magnets in the charging base and there are magnets in your phone or your earbuds case. And basically the way that it works is when you put those two together, there's a copper coil in there that starts to swirl electricity and turn it into a charge that there's no electricity being sent between the two devices. That's one common misconception. There's no actual electronics transfer between the base and your device. They're just reacting with each other. And that reaction causes an electrical current, which causes a charge on your device that's being charged. And so they're starting to find really unique ways to get them smaller and more efficient. Um, the more powerful the charging base is, the more powerful you know the, the, the receiver is on your phone, the faster they can charge. You're starting to see it's, it's changing and morphing all the time. You're starting to see, especially with IKEA, you're seeing Qi charging in the base of, you know, lamps. Um, so you can have your bedside lamp with a Qi charger built into the base of that. You just put your phone on it and it charges overnight. Um, really cool stuff like that. So it's a really unique way to charge your phone, to charge your devices. It's really basic to understand. The concept is very simple. You just always have to make sure that the device that you want to charge, if you're wanting to get into wireless charging, is Qi enabled. And you will look on the back of the box, it should say wireless charging or Qi QI enabled. You'll see the Qi and you know the icon for it saying that it's certified. Um, that's the stuff you're looking for. And so you wanna make sure that your phone or your device is Qi capable before you jump into the world of that. But then basically you just go online, you look for a, a nice brand, maybe something by a company called Roken that I like to use. Um, they make great wireless chargers. Um, and I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you wanna see the ones that I use. But <clears throat> it's really that simple. You buy the base, you put your device on there if it's compatible, and it just starts to charge. It's really, really simple. So why would you wanna get into wireless charging? What, what's the big deal? Why is everybody so excited about it? Well, personally, I absolutely love it. I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and I have a pair of true wireless earbuds where the case itself is also wireless uh, charging enabled. So for me, I have a charging base in my office at home, on my desk at the office. I have one on my nightstand up in my bedroom. And basically no matter where I go, I can put my earbuds on there or I can put my phone on there and it charges. It's just super convenient. Um, you know, personally for me, I've had you know cell phones for a very long time and one of the things that always kind of either wears out or you lose them or you have to always have it is the charging cable right you start to eventually wear out the charging cable when you're plugging in and out every night multiple times a day things like that and Qi wireless charging doesn't have that same repetitive wear kind of breakdown and so that's a really cool feature so not only is it convenient because you just put it on there and see the light come on and it's just charging um, but it's also can help kind of with the longevity of your phone and make your phone work better longer you know that charging that, that port in the bottom 
may not wear out as quickly. So it's really convenient. Um, and just overall for the life of your device, it's a really cool thing. So a couple things that you should know. I already mentioned one of them. If you're gonna get into wireless charging, you really wanna make sure that your device is wireless charging capable. Contacting the manufacturer or doing a quick online search of the model of your device will kind of determine and tell you if your device is capable. The other thing you wanna make sure is that if you're going to buy a charging pad or something or some kind of device that you're gonna put your Qi enabled device onto to charge, you wanna make sure that it is certified. And I but, but put a link down in the description below to the organization that certifies it because what happens is there's a lot of people who create this technology out there and if they don't go through the rigorous you know standards to get it certified you could buy something that could really damage your device um, it may not work that well it may break itself it may just be a piece of junk and you might spend a little bit of money on it so you want to make sure that it's certified and the way to do that is to look for the icon and I'll show you the link in the description below will take you to the um, to the group that that does those certifications and there you can learn all about the the you know what it says on the box and you know how you can verify if it's been uh, certified through them it's gone through their testing and it's safe to use on your device so hopefully this video was useful to you guys if you have any questions about Qi wireless charging and you want to know more you want to argue with me about something please feel free to do so down in the comments below like I said I put a link to one of my favorite wireless charging pads down there as well it's some information about the certification group that that manages the certification of Qi chargers so you can check that out down in the description below but guys that's it hopefully this video was helpful for you if it was let me know hit thumbs up throw down something down in the comments below and and don't forget if this video was helpful to you please consider subscribing to the channel but with that that's it for me and i'll see you guys next time